Ooh, good shot, Dave. Greetings, archery fans. Uh, although this looks like a cookery show, it isn't a cookery show. This is uh, an unboxing video of the new Bear Paw Blackfoot bow. It's been sent to me kindly by our German friends, Bear Paw Archery, and it's a very new bow, and it's been called a, a beginner's stroke intermediate bow. So let's just, just get the box open and have a look at what we've got. Let's uh, crack this open, see what we've got. There we have it. It is a 40 pound at 28 inches bow, and it's a brand new developed bow from Bear Paw Archery, the, the Blackfoot. Uh, and it is glass and maple limbs with what's called a Babinga riser. You can see that the actual sculpting of the handle is really, really quite nice. If you can see there, the first thing that, that grabbed me is this kind of, this kind of flame uh, profile here that they've got. And if I turn it slowly for Dave, you can see the kind of the, the twist hand grip, which I think would take it away from the hill style bows. It's, uh, it's, not, um, it's not super traditional. You can see, I don't know how easily you can see that. If I get behind it, you can see that it's kind of, the shelf is cut to just under center. It's not on center by any sense of the imagination. And um, just the finish actually looking at it is really, really nice. So this automatically feels very nice in my hand. Let's just take a look at the, uh, the knocks at the end. Just to give some scale of the, and the, and the sort of the fineness of that. Now hopefully you can see the kind of the profile close up there. I'll just turn it slowly so you can have a really good look. That is quite something. And you can tell that that's probably designed to speed up the bow. Okay, so what comes with this? A Bodnik Whisper String, which straight away I can tell is quite well made because it's much better than anything I've seen on bows that I brought previously as a beginner. You can see that it's finished off really nicely and kind of, uh, uh, and plaited nicely into itself there with no kind of phrase to speak of. So we've got our pads, which look like they're leather and a little knock, string knock in there as well. So you can see, I probably won't use that. I like, um, I've discovered the, uh, the tie-on type, which seems to be uh, preferred by a lot of traditional archers. This is retailing at 192 euros, which at today's exchange rate is about 166 quid. Like I said, looks and feels great. Let's give it a try. As you can see, it's a, it's a nicely formed bow. Let's have, a, let's have a shot with it and see where we get. I'm only gonna guess the, the knocking height of it. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't make too much difference over this distance. So let's have a, let's have a go and see where we get. It feels really nice. It's nice and smooth. Very smooth. Bear in mind I haven't been shooting very long and I'm definitely a beginner. Um, how could I round this up? It's a nice weight. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. Um, I don't know much about hand shock, but I wasn't really experiencing anything that you could call hand shock from a bow like this. Um, it's very smooth to draw. 
Um, there's no sign of it stacking as far as I can judge. Um, I've got quite a long draw, not, uh, not average. Um, it's really fast compared with my previous bows. Um, it's definitely got better range and a cast that uh, I'm not used to. So it's certainly more accurate and, uh, and better over distance. It feels very natural to hold and it's very stable. It feels nice in your hand. It has an interesting harmonic sound. When you shoot, it, uh, it has a very pronounced gonging, um, which I think is probably because it's so well engineered. Um, it is actually behaving a bit like a musical instrument. So um, I'm not sure that I have a problem with that at all. I think it's quite an interesting thing. I've not experienced with any other bows so far. Um, it feels like a 300 pound bow, definitely, because I've shot more expensive bows in an attempt to move into sort of intermediate archery and it feels really very nice and it feels like an expensive piece of kit. I'm already becoming more accurate and a consistent archer as a result of using the Bear Paw Blackfoot. There it is, the Bear Paw Blackfoot. Very nice indeed. Feel free to subscribe, either here or down there. And um, I'd be happy to uh, read any comments that you have to make about my odd attempt at an unboxing.